I can hear it. Oh, <gasps> that is so cool looking. Oh, it's a low level though. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark here on our cluster series. And we're on Ragnarok right now, but we're not going to be spending most of the episode over here. We're actually going to be heading to Aberration. We're going to be doing some stuff with this right here. More on that later. Anyway, right now what I want to do is, as you can see probably a second ago, we have a lot of blueprints in our inventory. I want to level completely into crafting skill and just craft the crap out of these. So, um, obviously we're going to be fighting Rockwell pretty soon. So I want to just like upgrade my weapon set. Like this is what I've got so far in terms of a shotgun. Now this is pretty freaking good, but I do have a better blueprint. It has less durability, but it has more damage. This one right here. So, uh, our one here has like 1800 on the dir, and then, uh, 264. And then this one has 1500 and 300. So definitely worth the upgrade, even though it's going to cost me, uh, like, I guess even with the crafting skill, I won't need to actually repair it all that often. But anyway, whatever. Uh, I don't really need a chainsaw, but I'm just going to make one anyway. Uh, Pike, I don't really need an upgrade, but I figured I might as well do it because I have this blueprint. Um, I'm not sure if this compound bow would actually give me uh, anything better than this. Because this one here is pretty freaking amazing. We got this, I think it was from the little treasure chest in Vikings Bay. I think. I can't remember. It was, we've had this thing for a long time now kind of hard to remember where I get everything uh, and then we have this uh, fabricated sniper rifle and this is a pretty good blueprint so I actually just want to test this out and see what we can get so anyway guys make sure that you hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one uh, we're going to be doing some pretty exciting stuff over on aberration here soon oh my god look at that so I want to do crafting skill stuff again uh, at some point, but not until I'm level 135, because if I ascend on Aberration, I'll get an extra 15, and then if I ascend on the island, that's an extra 15 on top of that, so 135 is the max level currently, and maybe it's going to be increased at some point soon, I don't know, but, uh, so hopefully eventually we'll actually be able to get, uh, even better weapons, so anyway, let's just get going here, bam, one of the shotgun, where is it? Oh my god, 46%. Wow. Okay, that's really good. Okay, so you can see, um, I can't, can I show it? I don't think I can show it. You can see, like, right there, just under crafter, it says crafting skill bonus, and that shows the actual percentage, and that's, that's really, really good. That's actually an awesome, uh, amount onto there. So this thing's got to do a lot of damage. We're going to use that here in a few minutes. Um, what next? Compound bow. Let's go. Hopefully, I'm not going to run out of everything. Everything. Anything. Uh, this one is not better. I figured that I wouldn't get anything better. I'm not going to make another one just in case. But I'll keep this as a backup. I mean, 24% isn't that bad. Uh, that's almost like half of what we got there. Um, what's next? Let's just go ahead and make a fab sniper. Bam. Oh, dude. 44%. Okay. That's pretty, that's pretty good. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. That's good. I like that. Um... Just make a pike. Not that I really need one, but whatever. 22%. Not bad. You know what? That's going to work. Um, There's my previous pike, actually. I didn't realize it was in here. Oh, it's in here because I put my armor in here to repair, and I think I repaired my pike as well. I'm going to pick this one up at some point. Uh, But yeah, that's um that's a lot better than my, my current one. So we're going to actually have to take that out just so I know what regions to die and everything. And let's just go ahead and make a chainsaw because why not? Everybody likes a chainsaw. Bam. Where is it? Oh, that's not so good. 4.2%. Let's make another one. We can grind up that first one. Oh my god, I just realized how expensive they are. Wow. Okay. Luckily, I have a lot of organic polymers, so really everything else there... I mean, the electronics pretty, pretty expensive. Uh, okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> we could probably take these over and start uh, hacking up some raptors, actually, in our new, new little place over there. Although, I just realized I'm too heavy. Great. Alright, well, I think... How expensive is this? Should I make another one? <laughs> I feel like we're not going to get anything better. All right, this is dumb. This is just dumb. Is that better? That's not better. Yeah, I figured. Okay, well, that could be our backup. We're not going to make any more of these. Uh, I'm going to wait till I have max crafting skills. So this is what we got out of all that. Um, did, did we take everything out? No, we left that in there. Anyway, so our shotgun's being upgraded by a huge amount. Oh, by the way, you're probably wondering, um, wh what happened to the blueprints X-Men gave me? I don't know. I lost them. <laughs> I lost them somehow. I don't know what happened. They just disappeared. <laughs> God damn it. 
<laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, <laughs> this is what we got in terms of a shotgun. Uh, and then this is our wait. Did we get a new long neck? Oh, I never grabbed out the long neck blueprint. All right, we gotta do that. I have a long neck blueprint. I don't know why I didn't grab that one out. Where is it? Uh, no, that's the tools, weapons. I'm pretty sure that's our best long neck. That one's still pretty good as well. Uh, long. There we go. Cool. Yeah. So I needed to do this one as well. I completely forgot. Uh, and let's see, where is it? Bam. Okay. 43%. Pretty good. You know what? We're going to need two because we're going to need one for shooting and one for tranking. Where's our other one? Wow. They came out with like the exact same. All right. That's good. This one's just slightly better. <laughs> all right well uh that is a major upgrade from the blueprint but not such a major upgrade from the one that we found so still good i mean like it does more damage so definitely good anyway um now we're gonna get on to the main meat and potatoes of the episode so i'll see you guys over on aberration okay so i decided i would actually gift that second shotgun to jim because i know he's gonna be doing the fight with us oh hopefully i'm not spoiling anything i think he's online right now He's going to be doing the Rockwell fight with us, so I figured, you know what, I'll just go ahead and give it to him, because I don't really need a spare. I'll probably, like, if I lose mine, I'll just recraft it. Uh, let's see. I don't know where he is. I try and just not get spotted, though. Oh, he's made some major advancements over here. He's got gotchas. Look, he's got an element dust one. We should steal it. Oh, wow, he's got two of them. Dude, I don't think he's been cloning, so that's actually pretty lucky. Anyway... Uh, I don't want to spoil too much here. I don't know what he's doing currently in videos and stuff. So, um, I'm just going to leave it like right here. Cause he'll probably find it. Oh, hello. There's like a scoop of Steve right there. Yeah. Like right here is pr pretty good. All right. So bam. And I'm brought up around a hundred shotgun shells for him. There you go, buddy. And then just a little sign. Add a spare. So, so. <laughs> there we go. Alrighty, so sweet. Let's just get out of here now before he spots us. He's got the death worms going like that. The freaking what are they called? The ice worms. That's what they're called. I think he's still online. He should have been. I don't know. He's probably here somewhere. I think I just saw something move way over there. Although I think that's a dino. Anyway, let's get out of here. I'm gonna actually use the obelisk to get out of the map instead of using my transmitter. Uh, that would just be a pain to fly back to base, so I'm gonna head over to Aberration now, and I'll see you there. Okay, so we're on Aberration now, and, uh, what we're gonna be doing is breeding our rock drakes. Now, obviously you can't do this normally, but we, uh, we had a talk. Well, I mean, when I say we had a talk, and I always say that, like, and I mentioned and all this stuff, whenever I say that, I usually am referring back to, like, a previous video where I would have, like, mentioned, like, hey, what do you guys think about this, and then kind of gauged a response on whatever I'm gonna do and uh it was a good while ago god I don't even know when it was a it was a long time ago anyway on this series and uh because we've already done like over 100 episodes and I don't know which one it was it was probably close to like 30 maybe I don't know anyway uh so yeah we we talked about like hey would you guys like to see rock drake breeding and maybe some mutations I don't want to go crazy with it I don't know we'll see but anyway, uh, I had a pretty good response to it. A lot of you actually wanted to see something like that just because you don't usually see it, right? So uh, that's what we're going to be doing here today. And now back then I was under the impression that we were going to actually use the S plus mutator, which personally I would prefer not to use. Uh, this thing has a few different functions. What it can do is it can actually put mutations onto creatures, which I'm not really a big fan of. I'd like to actually, you know, do the breeding and get them, but yeah it does that it also swaps genders uh it can give genders um and then it can do something else and i can't remember i don't think it says there does it no but anyway i don't really like using this just because it's it's really really cheaty like a lot of people are like oh s plus is cheaty i don't really think it is i think you know it just adds a lot of extra stuff and kind of cuts some corners somewhere you know for like just some different bits but uh this right here is cheaty i'd prefer if that just wasn't in s plus but whatever anyway we're not gonna be using that instead we added this mod that we used a long time ago and it's called like the dino fix mod if you look it up you'll like literally just look up what i just said and you will find it um 
So this one is something that we used a long time ago and we were breeding like griffins and phoenixes and stuff with it. But uh, yeah, so it just costs one thatch to actually craft a potion and it can give genders and swap genders. So let's, you know, let's just craft it like a bunch. <laughs> there we go. Cool. All right. They craft really, really quick. Uh, so what we're going to do is, to be honest, damn it, I should have dropped out the rock drakes first. All right. Well, anyway, I'm just going to test it out in this one and then we got to wait till we have all the other ones dropped out. I'm not actually sure. You know, we got to do some cleanup here. This place is messy. It really is. I got to get rid of that stupid pen. I don't know why I built that. <laughs> anyway, um, I think that was for the Reapers. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, so we're going to test it out on this first rock drake. So we're just going to give a potion. Now this should make it breedable and it should also go ahead and uh, give it a... G oh, it already has a gender, but it might swap the gender. Okay, so it didn't swap the gender. So let's go ahead and give it another one. To do it now it should be doing it i don't really need the gender swap okay so it doesn't seem to be working on the rock drake hopefully it's still breedable hmm. i don't know let's test it out and just something else here uh oh does it work on the indominus rex i don't know if it does it didn't seem to change its gender maybe i'd have to like leave the area and come back i don't know because you can see here it still says that it's a female and in here too hmm Maybe it doesn't work on some creatures. Maybe this mod is not something I could use right now. It should swap the gender on this, though. Oh, okay, I'm confused now. Let me see. Let me go ahead and cryopod you and just see if you're a female when you're in the cryopod. It should be working. I mean, it used to. Okay, it is a female. All right, so it was a male, and now it's a female. So maybe I would have to go out of, like, render resistance or whatever. Or maybe drop it into a crowd pod really quick just to see what gender it is. So I don't know how many times I used one on that, but or the Indominus. So I might actually be able to breed Indominus Rexes now using this mod because Indominus Rexes only come out as females. Uh, so it's impossible to get a male normally or naturally, I guess. But I don't know. We could use this mod. Is that something you guys would like to see? I think it probably is, to be honest. But uh, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to wait till we have all these guys out and then we're going to start breeding them. And I don't know if they're going to give us eggs or like live births. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, yeah, we're going to find out. All right, so I guess they do live births. So maybe I might actually have to make like a little pen or something. What type of stats was I looking for? Uh, 388 melee. Okay, it doesn't have that, but it does have the stam. But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. You can see it's spread from those two. Um, yeah, th this mod is awesome. I'm not going to need this one right here, so I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, I need element. My element's inside my thing. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to go ahead and get rid of this one. Just pull for one of these. Sweet. Make sure everybody's on passive just so that they don't freak out. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool the way it does it. The other two haven't started breeding yet, I don't think. Um, some of my suit has element in it. The rest doesn't. <laughs> what is missing? Helmet and I guess the pants are like mostly empty. Um, best way to get element across onto a different map, by the way, because you can't actually bring element itself. If you bring the dust and then just craft it over there, it's a lot easier. Oh, actually, I'm just remembering. I should go ahead and actually start learning up all the Engrams over here because obviously I don't have them anymore because I mind wiped on like as well. The, the whole mind wipe thing. Oh, it's such a pain to have to like relearn everything because we have the S plus stuff on here too So it's just like so many different things that I have to relearn Took me like a good five minutes to just like click through everything Let's see uh, That as well, and then we can't get those we have this because we fought the desert titan I do believe it, that gives it so that's how we have that already. Um Need those two. Let's see. What am I missing from? The rest of it. I can get those now. And uh, that's probably it, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, anyway, uh, these two haven't started breeding, so I might just feed another one of these. I don't, oh, there we go. Um, I don't know if that's going to help it. They should start breeding, though. Oh, I think they just pooped out a baby. Yeah, right there. I'm going to need to make a pen for sure. This is... uh. Oh, dude, you've got, like, nice colors. Are those mutated colors? Oh, no, they're probably from the parent. Let's see, so you have the good melee, but you don't have the good stamina. No mutations. Um, I don't really know if I want mutations at all. Like, that's kind of pushing it. This this right here is pushing it. You know, combining four good stats from four rock drakes together is kind of pushing it, but 
I think going through mutations might be pushing it even further. So I don't know if I want to do that. We'll see. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm going to have to like either put them into a pen or just build a new one or something. I'm going to see. Uh, we'll be back in a little bit, though, when we actually have a baby with two of the stats. Okay, so we have these ones here breeding, and we literally just got the melee and the stam together. What am I looking for here again? Okay, the health and the weight. The weight's not so important, but I wouldn't mind getting it. I mean, it definitely means that, you know, the drake's going to be a little bit more mobile, like, because I'm pretty heavy in the arena, I assume, because I'm going to have, like, a crap ton of stuff on me, different weapons and everything, probably a few suits of armor, so uh, definitely want a good drake. But um, I can actually put them inside now. I'm going to just quickly get rid of this one, though. I can put them inside now because I'm just throwing up some gates. Oh, I don't have saddles on them. Okay, you know what? We'll just... Let me take this thing away. Sweet. Uh Oh, what? Oh, there was two. Or was that... No, you're not the same level. Who are you from? Okay, you're from those two. Uh, We don't need you, though. <laughs> Oh, uh, you know what? I just forgot to, uh, I forgot to check about the mutations just to see if there is any. Okay, good. There isn't. I don't want mutations at this stage. Even if I was going for mutations, I wouldn't want them at this stage. Because at this point, you want to be combining the stats, not mutating the stats. Uh, so we're just going to quickly move these things inside. Uh, basically what I did was I just took all the creatures out of my base, and then I'm just going to put these creatures inside, and then block up the, uh entrance ways with gates which doesn't look pretty but it's okay can i get hmm. <laughs> it's gonna be difficult getting through all this stuff i gotta move those uh megalosaurs they're kind of in the way can i like walk around them now we just like jump through there we go that works ish so i could just put uh one pair down this end and then the other pair down the other end as you can see it's just completely blocked off so I'll just go grab the other one. Um, but yeah, I'll bring you guys back in a little bit for another update. Um, but yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take a little bit to just get everybody back in here and get them all organized and everything. Also, I don't know, but they've just kind of stopped breeding. I don't know if that's like supposed to happen or maybe they're gestating. It doesn't even show like a breeding bar or gestating bar on them, which is normal, I guess, because they're not really supposed to breed. We don't actually need these two breeding anymore, so we'll just turn them off. Okay, come on. There we go. Sweet. Um, I don't know if any of them are, like, gestating right now, though. It's the only thing. Hmm. Alrighty. Well, we will be back in a little bit. Okay. Well, this is kind of unfortunate, but pretty good at the same time. We got the one that we need, but they're getting out of the side of the base. I guess they're, like, walking over this somehow, which seems kind of weird, but whatever. Uh, I can stop these ones from breeding. I left for a few minutes, and I think there might be a few more around here. I'm not sure. Uh, I can hear something. Hello. You look kind of like white or something. Are you mutated? No. Hmm. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get rid of you then. And I'm pretty sure the one that we have here is the opposite gender of this one. Uh, yeah, you're a female. Sweet. All right. Well, this is exactly what we need now. All right, we just got to make sure that... Oh, yeah. When you put them into cryopods, it gets rid of their wandering and everything. All right, sweet. So we'll just put you guys on passive. And I need a drink. <laughs> but uh, we just got to wait for these two to grow up, and then we can breed them together. They're almost the same level as well. So definitely a lot of points into the stats on, on these guys. So eventually, we're going to have a drake with uh, 8,524 health, uh, 760 weight, 1440 stam, and uh 388 melee now this is before imprinting so after imprinting this thing's going to be even better it's going to be tanky it's going to be strong and it's going to be able to run and jump for a good while um obviously the stamina is not going to change from imprinting but the rest of the stats definitely will so yeah i guess i'll see you guys in a little bit we might try and just do a few mutations maybe try to get a nice color or something i don't know we'll see maybe eventually we could do like an episode where we actually just full-on mutate drakes they're a little bit awkward to work with obviously because oh hello oh you're gonna get out of the base aren't you yeah there you go how the hell are they still breeding oh you know what they were probably gestating and i just didn't know about it all right okay oh i thought that was gonna be my gun goodbye i can hear another one out there where are you i can hear you i just can't see you 
There you are. Hello. Oh, dude, there's two of them in here. What the hell? Yeah, I left for a few minutes, so obviously they bred a few times. <laughs> Can I get you? Oh, no. Okay, I might be able to, like, fly up and get in that way. How the hell did this thing get in there? Oh, can I get him? Okay, there we go. Alright. <laughs> I didn't even know that you could get in there. I guess drakes could probably, like, walk up walls slightly. Like, not the way that they can when they're adults, but they seem to be able to walk over walls, so... I don't know. Anyway, yeah, we'll be back in a little bit. We'll breathe them together. We'll try and get a mutation, and I'm gonna get a drink. Okay, so we just got a mutation... The color is actually pretty cool. It's like a kind of like a bluey purpley looking color. Um, I'm not so like I'm not the biggest fan of like the other colors mixed with it though. So I don't know. I feel like we might need to get something on the region that has that dirty looking green. I don't like that. That's just it's not a nice color. Uh, but yeah, so it's got a melee mutation, which is kind of amazing. Uh, what did it get onto it then? It got around 11 ish melee. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just thought I'd bring you guys back just to show you this. Uh, I guess we're gonna let it grow up. Let's just go ahead and name it. So, uh, blue, oh crap, I've got caps on. Blue-ish plus melee. All right, we'll do one melee, cool. Alrighty, so I, I think what we'll do is we'll probably just try to get a cool, like a few cool colors, uh, and then maybe we'll just combine them. Instead of doing like the stacking, because I probably won't be doing that with rock drakes, because honestly, even just breeding them is difficult enough. They don't show when they are breeding, and they don't show when they're like bugged out and stop, and it's kind of annoying. So we'll probably just get a few mutations together and then uh, just combine them, like breed this with another mutated creature and whatnot. So... Yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in a little bit. And they're breathing again. Oh, we got one back there. Just before we go away. Oh, you're mutated as well. Come here. Oh, what's your mutation, though? You don't have any cool colors. Uh, maybe he does on the feathers, maybe? Uh, God, it's so glitchy. Ah, I can't even move. Um, Does he have a feathers mutation? I don't think he does. Hmm. Not sure what your mutation is in terms of colors, so what's your stat mutation? Wait. Okay, I'm probably not going to keep you. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and get rid of this one. Okay, so we're back, and uh, we have a few mutations on here. I got a melee mutation like you guys saw, and I also got a stamina mutation with a red color, and then I got a... Uh, health mutation with like a green feathery color and then as I was I'd combine the red and the blue and then I was combining the red blue with the green and I got another mutation on top so now we have two stamina mutations and we have the health and then the melee so pretty good I mean like I wasn't really gonna go for a huge amount of like actual stat mutations but in terms of colors this thing actually looks pretty cool so here's the big reveal bam so yeah, uh, it's kind of got like that white color. That's natural. Um, the red obviously was from the stamina mutation. And then we have the green from the health mutation. And then the last mutation I think is on the feathers. Like, I think that's the color because that doesn't look normal. I think we had like a bluish color before. It kind of changes colors a bit. You can see it kind of turns purple, bluish, like I guess more of like a cyan right there. And then yellow. Uh, and then it kind of mostly stays yellow. It's it's kind of weird, like the feathers. The, just the tips of the feathers is what I'm talking about, in case you can't see that. Uh, but yeah, that is our Rock Drake, and it's pretty amazing. Um, <laughs> its stamina obviously came to this when it was uh, fully mutated, so it went up by around 90. Uh, the I think health went up by around three or 400, and then obviously we saw the melee went up by around 11. So, oh man, this is going to be awesome. Now we just need to level one thing in this and all the other stats are going to update so we're just going to go ahead and level some stamina okay pretty amazing almost already at 15k on the health which is really good let's just go ahead and fight some of these ravagers so that's the straight up damage that we do right there it looks like 530 uh obviously some of those guys were um they were mate boosted oh we have 512 on this guy Okay, so I'm not sure what damage we do yet. Let's hit the dung beetle. Oh, mouse went off the screen. Um, so 512 seems to be the damage. Why did I do 530? I don't even understand. 
Where the hell did we get that from? Anyway, yeah, so 512 in terms of damage to begin with is pretty good. Uh, what I want to do is I want to get the stamina up because I'm going to need a lot of stamina on this thing if it's going to be my main Drake to uh, use against like Rockwell and different things like that. So definitely need a lot of stamina on it because the Rockwell arena is kind of ridiculous. Like you constantly have to move. And later on in the fight when the Reaper starts spawning, uh, it just becomes very difficult to just like continuously try to get stamina and stay away from them because you don't want to fight them. You just want to keep moving get up here uh well, let's just launch at that thing right there okay that didn't even work all right sweet so maybe the best bet would be to try and go and get ourselves a explore note and i know that there's a bunch of them that i haven't gotten to be honest i haven't really gotten many explore notes on this map already so should be pretty easy to find one let's get up there all righty uh, let's just light up. It's pretty dark right now. Let's just go ahead and put one of these on. Yeah, that should help a little bit. Oh, man. All right, so explore notes. Where can I find one? Definitely haven't gotten that many on this map, so it should be really easy. Like over here, maybe. There's like one. I think it's around here. Hello, Tech Raptor. I don't know if you guys can pull me off, so I'm not even going to try and bother fighting you. Not worth it. All right, let's go this way. Hmm. I'm trying to think. I know of a few locations, but I know one of them I've definitely gotten. Uh, hmm. You know what? I need like a... <laughs> I need a dire wolf just to point all this stuff out. They can actually find the explore notes. I don't think anything else can do that, actually, which is kind of cool for the dire wolf. A unique little uh, ability that they could probably use on some other things like some shoulder pets would be nice just to kind of like point out explore notes that would be cool i think that that's one right there yeah had a feeling i didn't grab this one bam it is oh that's just an explore note i was about to say it's a raptor dossier but no cool it's kind of a dossier to be honest yeah, this is pretty much just like a dossier. I don't remember ever seeing these. Huh. All right, cool. Well, let's go ahead and try to kill some stuff now that we have the uh, buff. Let us fight some Spinos. Spinos are great for XP. So we can go ahead and try to kill like a few of those. I'm just scratching my eye. What the hell? It's super itchy. Um, all righty kind of annoying like <laughs> when you do videos and uh i don't know like your nose is getting itchy or something obviously you have to take your hand away from the keyboard or whatever or else it's like rub into your shoulder which might sound weird if you're gonna continue talking but um it just it looks like i'm an idiot because i'm like just standing still scratching my eye and then like we continue i don't know it's weird <laughs> all righty we got a stego right here and what the oh that's a dino uh Sukus, yeah, whatever they're called. Dino, Dino, Dino Suchus. I don't know how to pronounce it. You'll see it up on the top there. If a Dinonicus is pronounced Dinonicus, what does that pronounce? Dino Suchus, Dino Suchus. I don't know. But anyway, those things are freaking gigantic. I never realized how big they actually were. Look, there's another one, I think. Or is that a Sarko? I think that's another one. Now, these are from the... Um, what are they called? The Arc Editions mod. So same mod that adds in the Bracky and same mod that adds in, um, what else is it? There used to be a Denonicus from that mod too. So yeah, pretty cool mod. There's actually a, uh, Acro coming in that mod pretty soon. He's been working on it for a while, but hopefully that's going to come out pretty soon. That's going to be amazing once that launches. Definitely going to do a video immediately on that. All right, let's just get a little bit away from this thingy just so doesn't hurt me or like pull me off my mount or whatever okay stupid Karkanos and you're dead nice look at all that chitin that's crazy yeah look at the size of the Sarko okay well it's dead now but the size of the Sarko compared to the uh Dinosuchus I don't know how to pronounce it like how do you pronounce that Dinonicus Dinosuchus. I don't know. <laughs> That's weird. 
Alrighty, uh, let's just get some of these guys to come out of the water a little bit, maybe. That would be great. That's gigantic. Look at that thingy. It didn't really, like, I've tamed them before in, uh, my Jurassic Park series. Um, but we haven't, we haven't, like, tamed them in vanilla and seen them up against a normal Sarko, I don't believe. So, kind of crazy. They do a bleed attack, which is just, look at that. That is draining me so quick. I, my mouse keeps flying off the screen somehow. All right, there we go. Uh, get that up. I want to bring this up to at least 25. There we go. And let's get the health up to 20k. Yeah, this um, this rock drake's gonna be amazing. All righty, another spino, dead. Get some of these guys. Oh my my uh thingy's gone. My little glow stick. I think maybe something hit me. That spino ran down the river, didn't it? Gotta go get that. Quickly just grab this tech stego. Give ourselves some electronics. Oh, by the way, actually, I've seen a lot of advice on the uh, the automatic farm that I've been working on for, what is it called? Like the tech creatures. So I'm definitely going to do a little bit of an update on that at some point. Um, looks as if people are telling me that sabers are like the best creature for it. But I'll leave it a little bit longer if there's any more advice. Let me just pull that away. I don't know how the hell that got on my screen. I have like a little... Uh, a little icon on my desktop and it can be like moved onto any screen and it won't show up on videos or anything but it's kind of annoying basically it just controls the speed of the fans in my computer so i don't know how that got onto my screen it was like <laughs> it was like right there just above all my stats on the right hand side all righty stupid diplo's dead and we got seven more levels nice yeah we got a lot per level on this that's great all right, um, let's go for some melee just a little bit. I mean, we might be able to go up to like 3k on the stamina, which probably would be a good idea. All right, let's kill this uh, Spino. Got him. There's a Sarko right there. Hopefully they're not going to pull me off my mount, which they easily could. All right, we're good. And we got to kill the roll rat. Okay, lovely. Lovely, lovely. Lots of things to kill here. I love Aberration. There's just... It seems like there's a lot more creatures around. Maybe it's because, like, there's no giant open areas. It's, you know, I mean, like, this is still pretty big, but... There's there's no massive areas that are, like, wide open, so... It seems like when you run down these rivers and everything, that there's just tons of creatures. There is one of the Brackies. It's actually an Aberrant version. Let's go ahead and just shoot at this a little bit. Oh, by the way, I never even showed this off. That's the damage that the shotgun does. It's amazing. So I don't really want to get hit by this Bracky. But we might be able to kill it here. Ooh, okay. He only does 12 with that attack. I wonder what he, what does he do with the other attack where he gets on his hind legs. He might not do that to us now. All right, well, he's dead. You know, the best part about, uh, like, some modded creatures is that they actually have death animations, which is something that I really want them to add to actual arc creatures. Because imagine, you know when you kill like a T-Rex, imagine if it would like just collapse down with this epic animation. Like that Bracky right there, it didn't just like fall down and ragdoll, it just like full on collapsed. I don't know, that stuff right there is really cool. What am I hitting? What is there? What am I hitting for 4K? What the hell just happened? What is there? What was that? I don't even... I don't even understand. Uh, that was weird. Yeah, I have no idea what that was. I don't know. It could, it wasn't a structure, I just checked. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> I don't know what I was hitting for 4k. Like, I don't do that much damage. Uh, maybe it was the Brackey's feet or something, because I know that the when you're taming those Brackey's... Oh, I think I know what it was. It was probably a beehive. Yes. Okay, that's what it probably was. Let me just go ahead and hit this one. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay. I understand now. Did not... Didn't even come into my mind that it could have been a beehive. All right, cool. <laughs> that was just so confusing. I was like, was there like an enemy structure on the server? That doesn't make any sense. 
and that would also be that they had to be in online as well if it was you know because it could have been like one of the other guys because i think in the tribe on here all i've got is so far as jim in the tribe so um oh hello oh look at that it's a basilisk with a uh a red tail that means it's got oh i don't even understand where my thing went this means that it has uh event colors is it gonna come out i can hear it oh that is so cool looking oh it's a low level though so the event colors are still here for some creatures because we didn't do like a dino wipe or anything that is such a cool looking basilisk though damn oh can i kill this okay there we go that is awesome looking um all righty let's just stand here for a second oh my god we got 15 levels that bracky obviously gave me a ton let's just get the stamina up to 3k took like seven levels there yeah that's fine get that melee up as well damn all right and we are healing from the plant uh if you didn't know this for whatever reason the plants and uh aberration the plant z plants uh they they heal you super quick as you can see we keep jumping up by around 100 every so often here and i'm also healing with uh meat as well so that helps but definitely the plant is just super healing me at this moment <laughs> all right so we're gonna leave that for the moment uh we got a trike right there that thing is so fast oh i think it's charging yeah i think it might have been charging towards the uh darko all right let's just kill all these guys then sorry buddy yeah i don't know like the the animations and the creatures and everything would be so much cooler if they had death animations and it wouldn't be that hard to do because uh i'm pretty sure the death animation could probably like they could just add in like the unconscious animation as the death animation that would be pretty cool maybe just change it slightly or something oh that's not a good idea what am i doing I shouldn't be in the water with him you can pull me off my mount all right let's just try and kill this one really quick oh don't grab me okay we're good <laughs> all righty we got a spino here as well and another uh giant crocodile <laughs> alligator i don't know what it is crocodile or alligator no clue i think somebody said the difference between the two something to do with the snout i'm not sure can't remember they're so cool looking though all righty uh we might go kill that one last spino we actually have already lost our uh buff from the thing from the explore note we've also got a basilisk in the water there can't oh level 24 i think it said oh okay weird oh my god there's so many things here look at this i think we might come over here to get some uh then to know blah 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 giant crocodiles i don't know we might do that because they seem to be very common over here and i haven't seen that many on rag or anywhere else so yeah we could definitely come over here and try to tame some because like i think that's another one there is it oh, that's the sarco Oh wow okay i like broke that spino's neck but yeah in atlas uh they have death animations i do believe so probably not really something that would be too difficult for them to do i don't know we'll see anyway i think that's probably gonna be it for today i feel like this video is super long um but yeah, that's going to be it for today. If you guys liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. We should be doing Rockwell maybe in the next one. I don't know. It might be the one after. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how things line up. But um, yeah, leave some name suggestions for our new Rock Drake down below. Very tempted to call him Quasar. I don't know. I think I, I like that name. <laughs> so we might end up calling him that. But leave some name suggestions. Uh, my opinion could be changed on the name. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it. And I'll catch you in the next one. My god, they're close. Take ages to kill.